ready to play? I didn't come to play. I came to win. Now let's play. <sighs> Hello, folks. Welcome back to uh, Morrowind. So, I just loaded the save, and what comes out but this thing? I mean, I don't even know where it was, but it somehow attacked me, and fortunately, my magic spells hit and all that, but this is a cliff racer. If you don't know what a cliff racer is, it is one of the most annoying enemies in all of Elder Scrolls, uh, especially in Morrowind. They are a pain to hit with melee weapons, and they're just horrible, especially when you're roaming about and then like a horde of them coming to get you. Uh, let's see, does he have anything? He has racer plumes. Okay. But yeah, fortunately I was able to uh, take care of him with my magic there. So yeah, that could have ended badly, but we're alive, so. Uh, we have a rat over here, so let's see if we can take it out with our dagger here. Success, we did. We got some rat meat. How exciting. Alright, so I said I was just going to uh, sort of go out on my own to try and find those mushrooms, but I figured after that cliff racer that eh, I'll bring you along. Hopefully it won't be too boring as we try to figure out where the hell the bitter coast is. Um, Because it's supposed to be south of Balmora. There's Balmora there. I have no idea where I'm going. I really don't. But oh well. It's part of the fun. Um, but yeah, there's... Could be all manner of interesting... Ooh! Okay, phew. It could be all manner of interesting thing that pops up here. So, I want to be ready just in case. Now, you'll also notice if you were paying attention in the last episode, when I uh, went here, I have the difficulty set to negative 100 right now. Yes, I'm a little... <clears throat> scaredy cat, is the uh, nice term to say it. But, I figure... You know, you're you're watching this to see me, you know, try and hopefully succeed. I figure later on, once I've leveled up a little bit, I can actually boost the difficulty up. But starting off, especially in Morrowind, yeah, I'm going to have the difficulty down to 100. <laughs> Negative 100, so. But, you know, what can you do? Alright, um, so it is nice to actually see as well in uh, Morrowind here that there is actually a whole, you know, not just a day-night cycle, but there's also weather as well. I mean, you gotta keep in mind with everything that you're seeing that this game came out in 2002. There was not a lot of games like this in 2002. Um, well, I guess 2003 sort of brought in some different games. I mean, 2003 I think was when Star Wars Galaxies came out and that had its own sort of uh, measure of stuff that it came with. Uh, oh, hey. We found the Imperial Legion Fort. Do you want something from me? Was there a little thing about, let's see. Well, more until I get to see a wooden bridge. If I pass the bridge, I should look. Oh, so I had to pass that bridge, not go past it. Or go over the bridge. Oh, jeez. Okay. So I have to go to the west, right? Yes, west is this way. All right, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. But you know what, let's just go this way for now. But yeah, I'm still trying to think of what we had available around 2002 that would sort of be on par with this game. Um, I'm trying to remember when exactly the first Fable game came out. Ooh, we got a Kwama over there. Is that a worker or a warrior? 
Well, first of all, let's just wait and let our fatigue build up before we go investigate it. Because uh, it could kill us, and let's actually save as well. Because we don't want to get involved with something that could just <laughs> destroy us, potentially. Uh, let's see... Yeah, I can't recall exactly when the first Fable game came out. I want to say it was probably close to 2004. But I can't exactly say. And even that, I don't think really had the kind of, uh... Oh, jeez. Ooh! Uh... Nope, that's not it. This is not it. Come on! Work. There we go. Huh. Oh, that was a Nyx hound. That wasn't a Kwama. Okay. Well, fortunately, we took care of it. Uh, I think I might have to go back soon <laughs> to rest because, yeah. There's also a really good reason you don't want to rest out here is there is an assassin that pops up and if that assassin pops up well you are screwed um <laughs> to put it nicely um even if you run back to a town for whatever reason the town guard will not come to your aid so you will pretty much be facing it on your own Now, I don't know if things change if, say, you join a faction, like the mages or whatever, if any of their members will come to help you if you're under attack. Um, I don't know. I don't know how advanced the AI is in this game. So, if there's one complaint to be said, it's something like that. The fact that if you're under attack by uh, either an assassin or say creatures you won't necessarily be defended by guards all right well i have to go west so this is sort of west a little out of the way, but... Also, if you didn't know already, uh, Morrowind is kind of located around one big volcano. I think this is the volcano portion of it. Um, I want to say that Red Mountain is that, is that volcano there? Or is it located outside of Vardenfell? Vardenfell being the actual island that we're on. Because um, Morrowind actually has like a whole different section. Like down here is apparently a big landmass of Morrowind as well. And then up here is Solstheim, I believe. Um, but yeah, that's why you'll notice the area around here is kind of ashy. And it's because there's a volcano on the island. So. All right. So I want to go west, and hopefully this leads me to where I need to go.
Oh. Okay, that was a little weird. <laughs> Just kind of like walking a little on like a collision map or something there. Okay, who's this guy that's over here? Hey, Moraine. Too. What is this about? Hello, please, can you help me? I have lost my way and cannot find the holy place for which I am searching. Yes, the fields of Kumu. I am pilgrim I am on a pilgrimage to the holiest of places. But I seem to have lost my way. Perhaps you can help me find it. Surely you know this area better than I. I can pay you for your time. Uh I will try and lead you. I'm sorry I haven't the time. Well, I guess I can try to. I know the fields of Kumu are near the water. The view from there is supposed to be breathtaking. I've also been told there's a farm nearby where pilgrims may sometimes stop and rest where he lives. Alright, well, we know the water is to the west. We can't go that way exactly. Uh, so I guess we're going uh, sort of southeast for the moment. And hopefully the lady that's traveling with us won't meet a horrible death. Is this another of those little tombs? Yes, it is. I'm also trying to think if there's any companions in uh, Morrowind. Um, I can't recall if there are. I mean, I know that you have various summons that you can use in this game. Um, but as far as actual like companions that follow you around NPCs, I'm not sure. Again, I've never gotten that far enough to notice. <laughs> Another mine? Ulumusa? I don't know what that is. Not at all. And our one little lady's trying to follow? Trying, anyways. Well, there's a sign here. Plagiad, Balmora, and Plagiad. Back road or main road? Neither of which are really helpful at telling us where this Kumu is. Ooh, what's this thing here? Oh, is this part of Plagiad here? I'd assume so? Yes, that is what this is. Okay. We got Dralaskilu here. Under sun and sky. Tavern that I could potentially stay at. 
Um, what time is it? It's 4 a.m. Is someone actually in here? Oh, I guess someone is. So maybe the uh, NPCs in Morrowind actually Do don't have... Do you need something? Uh, ...times that they uh, follow, like in Oblivion or uh, Skyrim. All right, so, so let's barter and see if we can get us an axe to use. And how's my armor doing anyways? Oh, it's still doing pretty good here. I thought it would have taken some damage or something. Okay. We have a silver war axe. It's one-handed. It weighs 19, almost 20. And silver is good against ghosts, so that is something to keep in mind. Uh, that much I do remember. Silver bolts. A lot of silver stuff. Do we have any other axes here? Not a dagger. Oh, let's just do that. Steel short sword. That's actually not too bad. But I do still kind of prefer the axe. Um, let's see. 1 to 20, 1 to 11, 1 to 3 is the damage. Versus 5 to 12, 12 and... 12. Um, you know what? I think we're going to do the short sword for now. I don't see myself really going against any... Uh, I don't see myself going against any, like, ghosts for the moment. Oh. Okay, he took that. I could kill that gore. Those boots are ruined. Uh-oh. Alright. So let's go in here and get a room that'll let us heal and all of that. You may speak. Where is that sleigh? All right, beds. Yes, we have one available. It's 10 gold for the rest of the day. Do you want it? Yes. All right. So then we'll be able to rest. Oh, this isn't the right way. And then we can continue on with our little lady friend here. And if I read that right, she said end of the hall upstairs. Unlocked. All right, let's rest in this bed for just three hours. And hopefully that's enough to heal us. Let's do two more hours. And one more hour. Okay. So as you can see at the bottom, everything's healed up. I forgot about that mechanic. Okay, why can't I move? Come on, lady. Are you in the way? Okay. Also, let's equip that short sword so I'll be ready when I need it. Uh, let me just check one other thing. Long blade. Oh, so the long blade is like the two-handed stuff probably, or a long sword. Okay. So short sword will actually be short blade. Yeah. Okay. What is this about? I do not know. <laughs> oh, I'm going the wrong way again. Also, as you can tell, the... Uh... Oh, that was scary looking. Uh... <laughs> so, as you can tell, um, the NPCs in Morwen don't have much, I guess, like... They're not as interactive as they are in Oblivion or definitely in Skyrim. So, you know, you only get the little things like the whistling and the small comments if you bump into them. But other than that, there's really not too much that goes on with them. Which again, you gotta keep in mind the age of this game and the hardware that was available. I mean, 
I do wonder how they got a game like this to work on the original Xbox. Um, not so much just the graphics, because I mean, the original Xbox could do decent graphics. You know, it was able to do games like uh, Jedi Academy and that sort of thing. Ooh. Ooh. That guy could potentially hurt us, I think. I think that's a uh, Guar, I think. Is it going to attack us, or is it going to just leave us alone? Okay, it's not going to attack us. Alright, still looking for this Kumu, or whatever that this lady's looking for. So as I was saying, the original Xbox could do decent graphics for the time. Uh, I don't know how good its memory was for games. Um, I can't recall the graphics or the uh, memory on the original Xbox on off the uh, top of my head. Another tomb. But for it to be able to do something like this, it had to. I'm sure, they had to do some kind of finagling to make it work, you know, reasonably well. Alright. So I still kind of have to go more west again. Well, there's Satanin. I am completely... like, lost? Probably. Loud. Rigid. Heaven, Heart, and Vivid. Well, I think I gotta go this way. And we have another rat. I could kill that girl. Those boots are ruined. Well, you tried to kill that rat there. You didn't help much, but. Although the fact that she attacked the rats on her own does kind of make me wonder if there are companions in Morrowind. I'll have to look that. Hey, we're finally at the Bitter Coast. We can look for those mushrooms. Do we have anything on the whatchamacallit? No. Alright. So we got this. Alright, so we have some mushrooms there. here? Quests? Oh, hey, I didn't even notice that you can... Okay, I don't know how many times I've attempted to play this game, and this is the first time I've actually noticed that there's a little quest thing that you can use to uh, go to the uh, specific quests. So let's uh, to Mage's Guild. Excuse me. So I have the Bungler's Bane, the Haifa Facia, the Luminous Rasula, I need the Violet Coprinus. Uh, okay. So is that over here? Uh-oh. For a moment I thought I was trapped. Trapped! should have all the mushrooms I need for that quest now. I do still have to find out this Kumu thing. Uh, but I found myself back at Satanine. Let's see. Should 
Can I continue to follow you? Yeah, sure. Alright, my assumption is that it's probably somewhere around here. Is that Fields of Kumu. She said by the water. Maybe I can ask a guard and they'll be able to help. Maybe. Probably not, but we can at least try. Uh, little advice. I've never seen a successful adventurer who didn't carry a couple of divine intervention scrolls with him on long expeditions. Two reasons: emergency exit. And it lets you move a lot more loot than you can carry on foot. And faster goes without saying. How can I help you? I never even knew that there was a divine intervention scroll to be going with. I'm assuming that's a spell that takes it back to the city. I'll have to look into that eventually. Where did my lady go? Oh, she's gone. Oh, there she is. Okay. This guy. Boom. <laughs> Alright, so if you've never known about some of the interesting things that happen in Morrowind, this is one of them. So Tar Heel here is a well uh, let's take his journal. So he is a wizard who has the scroll of a carrying flight which has Fortify Acrobatics 1,000 points for 7 seconds on self. The problem with that is that, well, it didn't work very well for the coming down part. And we'll just dispose of his corpse there. Where did that be? I saw her sort of trying to follow me. Alright, so pretty much what happened, he's a wizard, he tried to sort of uh, perfect flight, I guess. Well, he didn't account for the coming down portion, and as soon as he hits the ground, he's dead. And I think I'll end this episode by saving and then testing out that... Uh, scroll there. Just as a show of what can happen. And I really have no idea what happened to that lady. She is gone. Completely. I don't know if she just stops following, if she gets so far behind. Or if she's stuck on something and might reappear if I, like, go into a building or something. Like some Skyrim NPCs get. I don't know. Whatever. Alright, and what's this Iron Spark Shore? Spir spark? Sword. Ugh. Can't talk. Uh doesn't do much regular damage, but it does have the shock damage perk, so it could be useful later on. Where's that script?
Die, Scrib. feeling about being in this little uh, canyon that there's gonna be a cliff racer that comes out somewhere oh well, we got the little quama there that we can take out come on little quama there you are of some kind. And bubbling mud baths? Oh. Uh-oh. The scrib paralyzed me. To this little mine here and see if our lady will re-emerge and hopefully oh there is a guy there yeah our lady's gone i don't know if she died somewhere but what can you do she might reappear if you run past her at some point but i'm not really looking to bother with that. I will see if I can si find that Kumu place. Since I'm already heading towards the, uh, I guess the, uh, water region, ocean, coast front, whatever. Brain fart there for a moment. What can you do? Um, I don't think these will hurt you. No, it's pretty much just water. Okay. I wanted to check just to see. That reminds me, I should probably save where I am. Nothing should happen, but you never know. You know, I wonder if this might have been the wooden bridge that that one NPC was talking about at Balmora. Though it is a little far away, so it's hard to tell exactly if that was what that NPC was talking about. Eh, uh, what can you do? Okay, so apparently this way leads back to Balmora somehow. Oh, 
Oh, there you are, Mr. Scrub. And apparently if the Scrib dies in the water, you can't uh, get it, so, oh well. Alright, we have this mud crab over here. Let me wait a moment. Or at least slow down for a moment. Let my fatigue restore itself, and then we'll uh, take out the crab. Uh, if I recall correctly, I don't think mud crabs are very dangerous in... Uh, Morrowind either, so. Because they're not dangerous in uh, Skyrim at all. They're really not too dangerous in Oblivion either. He comes, he attempts to fight. And bam, he's gone. We'll take his meat. Alright folks, that is about it for uh, this episode. Um, nothing too special besides the wizard falling out of the sky, which reminds me I do owe you all a uh, demonstration of that spell. Alright, so we will go to our screen. Take one. Oh, that's not how you do it. Um, magic items, okay. So if you want to use a scroll, you don't like put it on yourself. You just go over here to where the magic items are. So we'll do that. We'll equip it. We'll use it. And then we'll jump. And we are above the clouds. And we keep going and going and... <laughs> We got our acrobatic skill up to six. <laughs> All right, folks, that is it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know what you think of it so far. Uh, and we'll uh, continue on in the next episode. <laughs> All right, folks, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to click on the bell icon for notifications on all of our new videos. Thank you, and see you in the next episode.